I'd like to talk a little bit about river fishing, uh, particularly casting across the current and using a casting and retrieving type technique. Sometimes uh, when the current is really strong, like in the spring, you can see the current is, you know, going pretty good there. Um, what I'll do is usually connect my snap to the, like, the middle hole. If you connect the snap to the back hole, the bait can have a tendency to kind of run up onto its side. That's if you want to use a casting and retrieving type technique. Um, if you want more vibration and you're just pumping it up off the bottom and letting the current swipe it down uh, to, you know, hit every little uh, nook and crevice that you can find on the bottom, that's a, you know, that's a good technique to connect the snap to the back. But in general, if I'm going to be casting and retrieving against a current that's pushing up against the blade, I'm going to want to connect that snap to that middle hole. Um, the bait's going to come in much cleaner, much straighter. The other option, um, if you wanted to connect the snap to the back hole um, on one of our models and quarter cast against a strong current, um, the best option is going to be to use the one ounce. The one ounce has got a little more weight to it and it does not tend to, ble to blow out uh, with heavier currents on a, on a straight retrieve. So that's your tackle tip of the, uh, of the day here and I uh, wish you the best of luck fishing this year and stay safe. Bye bye.